including some of these here. Some of that. A little bit of that. <laughs> I think I made too much brine. That's okay. One of those little gnats decided to take a bath. And I don't do that. I don't, I don't. We're gonna wash this out really good and we're gonna start over. Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Crystal. I'm doing some fresh refrigerator pickles with the silver slicer cucumbers and I think I might have a couple from the space saver plants out there. We had a little bit of tropical weather this morning, not the kind of tropical that I would hope for, but it was windy and rainy and I think it came from just like some remnants from tropical storm Fred that had passed through this morning. So our garden got well watered this morning and unfortunately the winds from it, wasn't significant winds, but it was enough to knock over a lot of my plants, including all of my popcorn is just, all of it blew over. But before we get into it, if you could go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, I would super appreciate it. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get the cucumbers that I'm gonna be using in the refrigerator pickles, and then wash them up and cut them up and get them ready to go. The ingredients that I use in the quick pickling brine, you can use distilled white vinegar or you can use apple cider vinegar, it's up to you. I use distilled white vinegar. Water, salt, you don't need pickling salt for this. You can use just normal salt that you use. We use the pink Himalayan salt, so I'll be using that today. And sugar, and that's pretty much it. As far as the flavoring aspect of it, so like the dill, garlic, peppercorns, it's kind of up to you what you wanna put in there. I'm gonna be using dill, black peppercorn, and garlic is what's going in ours. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, cut up the cucumbers into what we want. For fresh pickles, I usually do spears. You know, you can do them as slices, like the pickle chips, or you can do spears. What I normally do is I go ahead and I, I remove the stem side and the blossom side. So, just a little tiny bit. And then it looks like that. Cut it down the middle. And cut it down the middle again. And that's it. And I'll just repeat that. I'm gonna be using one of these half gallon jars. So the ratio of vinegar to water is one cup of vinegar, whether you're using white distilled vinegar or apple cider vinegar, to one cup of water. And then for every two cups of total liquid that you have, you wanna add one teaspoon of salt. When you're doing one cup of water to one cup of vinegar, that's two cups. So that would be one teaspoon of salt. And then to that, you can add to taste a tablespoon or two of sugar, depending if you wanna add the sweetener or not. I already made refrigerator pickles this year and I didn't really add a lot of sugar. And honestly, they were really good, but I, I, did, I liked the sugar better. So I'm gonna be adding some of that in. So what I do is I'm gonna be using this jar as my measurement. We're gonna do six cups of liquid in here. That should be enough, because once the cucumbers are in here, they're go it's gonna displace. I'm gonna do six cups of liquid. So I have three cups of filtered water from our tap. And then to that, I'm gonna be adding three cups of distilled white vinegar. So we have six cups of liquid here, and I'm gonna be adding three teaspoons of salt. Just pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna be adding, I think I'm gonna try and make it a little sweeter than I did the last time. So we'll try three tablespoons. Last time I made these, I only added one and they weren't sweet at all. They were good, but they weren't sweet at all. So we'll try it this way. So then we're gonna take this and put it on the stove and bring it up to a boil. Now we are going to add some things to the jar. I'm going to be adding two cloves of garlic. This one is a chestnut red variety. So I have a couple of cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to chunk them up a little. Drop them in the jar. I have some 
peppercorns. This is a peppercorn medley. Add a bunch of those in the bottom. I grabbed some dill from the garden yesterday and I have it sitting in water here, but I gotta wash it off first. I'm gonna be using the whole thing. I'm gonna be using the parts where it's flowering and the entire stem. I'm gonna cut it up and then I'll throw the whole thing in. As soon as you start cutting into it, it's very fragrant. The brine is at a boil and give it a little stir. Let this cool off. So I'm gonna move it off of the heat and we're gonna let that brine cool off a little bit. A lot of it, I'm actually gonna let it cool pretty much down to room temperature. I might not pour it over the cucumbers until later. So now with the stuff at the bottom of the jar, I'm including some of these here, some of that, a little bit of that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and add the cucumbers. You want to let these sit in the refrigerator before you eat them, like overnight, well overnight. Um, they're the best. I mean, I think you probably, if you made them in the morning for and you wanted them at dinner time, they probably would be okay. I would say letting them sit overnight, like right now for me, it's about lunchtime. These would probably be really good tomorrow, either around lunchtime or for dinner. I think I made too much bread. That's okay. When you're doing refrigerator pickles, you don't have to worry about headspace and things like that. You just want to be able to close the lid of the jar. I'm using one of these plastic leak-proof ball lids. I'm just gonna... this isn't gonna be pretty. I think that's about as much as I'm gonna be able to get. Add some more dill to the top. I'm gonna just put the lid on it for now. That's how it looks right now. And then I'm gonna wait for the brine to cool off quite a bit before I pour it over. I have to make my refrigerator pickle brine again because one of those little gnats decided to take a bath. And I don't do that, I don't, I don't. We're gonna wash this out really good and we're gonna start over. Quickly remake my brine, so. I'm gonna do three cups of water. It's so annoying. What's even more annoying is we really haven't had, um, I haven't had the fungus gnats in the house this year because I don't know why, but they haven't been an issue this year. Life. All right, well, that was annoying. So I'm gonna stir that. I am remaking the quick pickling brine on the stove. I'm gonna turn that off. The Refrigerator brine is boiled again, so I'm gonna turn it off and let that cool again. Now I'm gonna be adding the brine for the refrigerator pickles. I've let the brine cool a lot. It's still warm, but I'm gonna add it over the cucumbers and then put them in the refrigerator. I'm just trying to tap out any of the bubbles to get the brine, make sure the brine is getting in between all of the cucumbers. And I'm gonna add the lid to the top. And that's it. And they'll go, you give it a little shake. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this, it's not hot or anything like that, so I'm not putting a hot jar. You don't want to put something really hot into the refrigerator, but it is pretty cool. There's like a little bit of warmth right here, but the rest of the jar is nice and cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this into the refrigerator for now. These will sit in the refrigerator probably for about a day or so before we start eating from them. That'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you next time. Bye.